to that I'll not be speaking about four manifolds. <laughs> setup here is the free group that appears in the title. Some Lie group with Lie algebra G, a math track G. Yeah, sort of the goal of this entire talk is so we'll study the representations of the free group in G. So Group is just given by the image of whatever the generators are. But the, the main point should be that I don't want to choose generators, so it's, it's more to that, but it depends on choice of generators, and I'll try to avoid choosing generators as long as I possibly can. And the goal is sort of to study some uh, differential forms or maybe differential operators on this space. That will do. Let me decay some of the other characteristics here. Although our characteristic zero is not so important for most of the things that I will be thinking of the reals anyway. So having a free group, we can produce the group algebra and look at the following short exact sequence. So I is just the augmentation ideal. And so that's sequence in entire representations. So the first thing that we will need is that so this is again free. A k pi module, so again, free of rank. Maybe more precisely, so even though I said I don't want to choose generators, if I did, so let's say if x, um, then or generators of the group, then this thing will be generated by. Just the difference between those generators and one, and I will denote this by the following Mauro Cartan type form or formula. Because no one can prevent me from writing it like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are our bases. Alternatively, I would also say that this is generated. By symbols of that form, for all kind of axes. And I have relations. And at least the relations show that at least there is some some meaning to this. Symbols. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that looks great, but if I start substituting this into your formula x minus 1, I bet 
it's not gonna work, right? Or, or would it? So like, yeah. Here, when I write conjugation, it's meant. Okay, it, it acts on these guys by adjoinders. Like that's the way how it's a pi module. Yeah, yeah, but but would it would, would it work it, if, it, if it, I it should. take x minus one? Okay, so you want me to do this? No, but I, mean, I, I can try to check myself in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, tell me if it doesn't work, then I'll have to Yes, I, I'll complain in case. <laughs> so if it didn't like this, that the x only appears ever in this combination, then there's the following thing that we could also do. I can just induce it to so, induce it to something in pi times pi mod. Uh, my apologies. So you invited me to complain, right? Mm. I, uh, frankly, I think, it, or I mean, it, it works if you instead of uh, a joint, you use left multiplication. Then, then the left, left multiplication here. Yes. But the joint here. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be understood. Okay. Module. And that free that free left module can also be seen as generated by these symbols, where now the module structure is adjoint, mm -hmm. and this relation. So if I induce this, this entire sequence, then what I will get is the following in here. I can make this multiplication if here is an identification I use. So co-product and the antipode on, on the second factor. And here I take the kernel of the multiplication map. Let me denote this by sort of associative one forms. And so then if I take those generators from above, we just said we're just those guys, and I have go through this, I mean it's actually this map. So I just take co-product and revert the second factor. So that will correspond to that guy. And now I can actually multiply from the from the left if I want. So now in this in this sense there will be this dx, which is dx x inverse x. Everything is, is checked. So, so all these are some kind of morphisms of what of KP modules or of what? Uh, yeah, of KP modules. Mm -hmm. So this is only to say, like, if we if we want to write formulas where this thing doesn't appear, we're allowed to embed this in something slightly bigger. And maybe to go back to our, our space of representations. We never have an element in here. And the representation. And I can just evaluate this on the representation. I get an element in G. So in particular, every element, so every element X defines a G-valued function on the representation space. Right, or, or, so definitely we have 
there's some kind of universal homomorphism that goes from from our group into functions, p-value functions. Or well, mapping, you know, depending on how you want to write this, you could also say that you cannot, could denote this by this. But, but in reality, isn't it a map from k pi? Or you don't want to see it? Mm, no, because those are g-valued functions, so it's only a group. I cannot mm -hmm. add those things. Mm -hmm. At least not yet. from before. I can produce those g-valued functions and when I have such a function. I can pull back the Mauro Cartan form from T. Can you explain again what you mean by one forms on, on M? Mm, it's like that M. Uh, M is secretly just ah, I see. the N. So think of it as a man of form. Yeah. Claim is there is such a commuting diagram where now I send a thing in here that that looks like this. I send it to sort of the same symbol, but now just interpret it as that an x defines a g-valued function, and I can pull back the marker that form. Is it just the same thing? You can also, we can actually turn that thing into, into a, a pi module, because it eat or not important at that point. That's now what we can do using this. So let's say, or what we do is, or what, what we're doing now is we produce some, some g-valued one forms but maybe I want to have all one forms. Let's sort of get, get or at least get more one forms. So I can take I can take one of those one forms that I have here. I can pair it against any element in the, in the dual of the Lie algebra. And multiply this with any other function. In particular, these things they satisfy some relation. Mm -hmm. They let sort of the joint act on, on the right hand side. That's the same as letting act on on the left hand side. Now I should think of as y as being a g-valued function. And so when I do this construction, should I at least mod out those relations? So it should also have this u on the. Yep. Thank you.
I don't know what, what we've sort of written is that there is a map we just take functions, elements of the dual and we take elements of this i and we send it to one forms and there was this relation that I can put stuff from the left to the right and the claim is that this is an isomorphism Thing for one that's actually well defined, but this is a this small calculation here. So to show that we don't get so too much on the left, right? we already know that if we pick generators, which I said I wouldn't do, but I'll still do here, and the left hand side will just be derived some. So as a, as a vector bundle, or the vector bundle that I get is just as dimension n times whatever the dimension is of the Lie algebra, and the right hand side also has that dimension, and so one only needs to check that those things get mapped to the same. Thing. And so now we, we sort of now understand how to understand this with one forms. They sort of only come from whatever this left pi module is. And then you can also just double up the same thing. So let's try two forms, maybe not exactly two forms, but just the exterior power of, of one, so just the, the tensor power of one form. We're now sort of thinking that language of, sort of two types, or like pi can act on the first or on the second, on the second factor. So this will be more or less my version of, of two forms. So. Maybe they're not they're not skew symmetric, but that's as good as it gets for now. Well, so let me try to make this con so the construction here with this relative tensor product. Let's try and make this a bit more general. But just see, so apparently it was useful to have it for just pi modules, but it's also useful to have it for for like pi times pi modules. Other words like tenses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's that what I get, but in particular they they will induce two forms. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So let me skip this and then so let's call these realizations. L representation and I to the L representation. And then I can produce the following thing.
uh, what is k v to the k <laughs> or sort of like more geometric or like a geometric way to think about this would also be that we just pick generators for and then we just or pick generators and relations then produce sort of the direct sum of the trivial vector bundle with the fiber V and then impose relations coming from relations from, from here. But sort of this is this is the definition. And then that's the geometric So they're not always vector bonds, but always cross Korean, but everything that I will look at will be vector bundle. The, the geometric fiber of this as a representation is the following. I'm sort of the same formula, not just evaluated at a point. So at a point in particular, I have a representation. So this is just a representation of, or map from pi to g. So in particular, it also induces a map from pi to the l to g to the l. So using rho, I can take this as a product. down a couple of, of properties that this construction has. So it's natural in M and V. And yeah, because of that choice I made it's contrarent in V, but yeah, that's the way it is. And you can also connect sort of different, so, so we hear that different L they at first they don't talk to each other, but they actually do talk to each other using the following formula. So if M was just in use from a, from a pi representation, then I can just as well. Restrict the coefficients. And I will I'll just write this like that from now. Now the same goes be true for more than two factors, but we will only need it for two. Um, so could you say more? So so now what what is it saying? This stuff. So we because we have m m is a pi module. And V is a G times G module. But there's two things how you could use this to put this into that construction. Either you induce that guy to pi times pi module, or you restrict that guy using the diagonal action. And the two things give you the same answer. It depends on how you write the restriction. And the restriction the way I first. So induction that's the same as Tensoring with that guy here, but there's still like two structures on. If one thinks about it carefully, then it's supposed to be obvious, <laughs> but apparently it's not.
for the speaker. <laughs> Already, or what was our motivating example is that this guy gives this family bundle. Examples. All right, first, uh, sometimes this appears, so this has this has already been not the vector bundle, but in general. Geometric fiber does are co invariants of, or at a point, they are co invariants of, of, of V. If, the, if V is trivial, then, then it will also be a trivial vector bond. Or a trivial vector bond. Then maybe just to explain why, why I chose to, to have this dual in the definition. As I said, this whole construction is supposed to be natural. So elements in M, I can. This maps from the from the free rank rank one module into M. Then doing this sort of realization of that. Then we said that this guy is just trivial a trivial yeah. a trivial vector bound with fiber V dual. So this whole thing will be Global sections that sort of V valued. I can think of elements of M, I can think of as, as V value sections of, of this thing, which is the same thing that we already saw before for the tenant bond, for our for co tenant bond. Had some some invariant vector. Like this. Just take this this whole morphisms and again just apply the construction and get some. Map like that, and for this guy now we can apply this, this invariant vector. Um, sorry, maybe I missed what is this g? K, k to the power of absolute value k to the power of g. It's like this realization construction where k is the the the, the pi module, like the trivial pi module. Yeah, and g. And g is the shown interpretation of the group g, mm -hmm. the real group. Mm -hmm. And because we had that this guy was mm -hmm. so now I can apply this guy because that's just something <coughs> like a, a map of representation of k from k to g. Okay. 
and which is section of that thing, so a one for term particle T things together with an invariant vector will give me a one form. should be bi vector fields, but they will again not be like skew symmetric. So I don't know what the name for like two zero tensors or zero two tensors. Ooh. Anyway, those things. So let's assume we have a, an invariant some, some invariant vector in, in G times G. So for instance, this could come from a killing form. Inverse of a killing form, but also anything else would do. Same thing as we're taking the this g times g representation and and take it to the diagonal action and then invariant there in, in there. So I'll do the same thing that I did a couple of times now. This thing in, but this is just k pi like left and right action. Yeah, but this will induce thing. something. Bivector fields. Or again, before I get sort of not necessarily skew symmetric bivector fields for two zero tensors. Then let me just like make this a bit more more concrete. Which is what, how does this construction look like in generators? Then we can identify m, which is g to the n. Then i, we said we can identify the So that's those things as generators. In, in here that are determined by whatever happens to this generator. So let me call so the dual of such a generator. Let's, let's denote it by like partial. So let's say those are our bases. And so what we're saying is that if we have this, this T element and a guy in here, we can produce a, a, a bivector field. 
and the claim is that the pi vector field well, it's just going through whatever this construction was it will send these things to one of those things we'll think of as dual to those marker transforms so this thing has values in g dual times g dual so we can or at first we can act on let's say just the first guy with, with something and the something will be that but now it's viewed as a, as a g valued function and then the whole thing I can pair with, with t Oh, you could also put it on the other side, as I did in my notes. So. I mean, so what we saw here is sort of like that we can also take two worlds of power of these of this pi modules, so let's maybe try and make that a bit more formal. And so let's define this n3. So those are only sort of left, left module homomorphism, but this was pi module, so there's still one module structure left. So the whole thing is again is again a, a pi module where potentially you have to turn it right into a left action. Right, but this thing comes with a natural, so there's natural pairing. Pi modules. So I can just take this thing and, and throw this realization on it. And that let's maybe you realize it as sort of V and, and V dual. Here we use sort of the same trick that we already used a couple of times that this guy is just k-induced. And now v times t has an invariant vector. So we can again go to the identification of that dual thing. We just 
just writing doubles everywhere. Take we get. Engine bundle. There may be just one remark about like how to think or there's another description for these elements. such a thing. And to that we can associate something like a derivation that will satisfy the following property. apply the, uh, the core unit to, to this factor. And again, if you write these things as sort of D, A, B, A, B inverse, then this formula should again look more natural than it does now. The thing about what we've seen is that Fox derivatives, they will induce G star valued vector fields. So let again maybe M be free. Let's try the following. So let's look at let's look at the following tensor product. So here, this is just K pi seen as a like as a pi sort of. Before it was a, just k pi with the joint representation and stuff, or like the same form as this morning, but just easier because everything is co-commutative. Right, but now these guys, in particular, I can take something in here and evaluate it against that guy. This thing is just okay, I'm restricted, so let's put the restriction to the other side. Okay. Now let's take some, some realization. So here we can again use the thing that we already used again. So particularly if I had some, some kind of invariance in here, then I would get
or at least if I have invariance in here. Then I'll get some, some sections in, in, in this realization. So this construction actually more only for one particular case. And then again, when m is i, and so this works a bit. So if So I can compose this with the above map. And I will get this will get on both vector sides, like I have some invariant element here, which is the diagonal element, and on this guy I can map it to the along with this core joint action. And I think I should have done everything dual. So that in the end I'll get something in this guy and again for m m equals i. Some more forms, but it may again just this formula. I'll give you a trace through all the steps, which I probably didn't do very carefully, so then you get this kind of formula. And maybe at this point I could also say so this guy it has some other name. It's also the first partial homology of, of K pi. Maybe I'm in a little bit lost what 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 what's going on. In particular this how does it trace a joint G? Uh, so this a joint G acts on or acts on something, or is it an operator now or what what That's right, yeah. And G is some group valued function, so I can look at the joint representation like a joint on the Lie algebra. Mm -hmm. Also, this guy was G valued, so mm -hmm. I can also act by a joint and multiply mm -hmm. those things together and take a trace. Mm -hmm. but, but in general, what, 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 where are we heading? What, what's the. Uh, uh, what, what's the goal now? Mm, differential operators on on this representation space. And we now figured out how to produce some one forms, sorry, some one forms from here. Mm a little bit too lengthy. The point was just that sort of more or less everything should follow from these three or four axioms about this, this realization thing. <coughs> so let's not try and do, do chats on, on this representation space. So let's uh, recall that so we have some vector bundle. Then there's also always some idea for the exact sequence.
different sections of, of, of this is like they're given sort of take some section of E, you write some kind of differential in front of it, say. And we have some keys of one forms, or this is one form. These are sections of E. And there's some relation saying that the symbol D acts as a, as a differential operator. And now we want to we want to produce that guy again using our construction, but now there's sort of a little bit. So let's say if we have E and given as this realization or something like that, then this would be given by the realization. Of this thing, so now we want to produce extensions of, of this by that. So now we're sort of forced to, to mix like pi and pi pi representations. Let me just finish this and then let's have a break. Mm -hmm. Because in particular, we need some kind of upgraded construction to this realization. And so, sort of what we want to do is we want to realize diagrams of the following type. Let's say we have, we have two, two pi modules. And also, uh, pi times pi module. And let's say we need a morphism between those two things, and we also need sort of compatible representations. Uh, module from M1 to M3, that's for diagonal action? Yeah. And so I can, if I have. Uh, this situation, I can produce the following realization thing. So to this thing, I'll assign. Right, I can just realize all these things separately. Produces map. Now, of that thing, I'll produce the push out. So I take the dive sum of these and I impose these guys as relations. We may just last thing before the break. the situation where I need to apply this. I may just want to produce this uh, this this way of the chat bundle and this presentation of the chat bundle and it turns out even obtain it as follows. So they, these representations with everything we've seen before and take as a as the as the key representations. Mm 
these guys just with the, with the Lie bracket. And the claim is if you sort of take the realization of that guy, this will give you the chat on of that thing. And also to get like the entire exact sequence. And so inside here I can I can map this picture into that and from this thing. Apply the, the coin on the here on the second factor, and this guy will realize to one, and this guy will just realize. And so that whole thing will be the it's a tier short exact sequence, and since this is a bit complex or like a bit cumbersome to write down, so from now on we'll just write this as. All the information is in, in that short exact sequence. And we'll just have to remember that sometimes we have to consider it as a pi, like as pi modules with diagonal action. But for this, we have to remember that it was a pi times pi module. And with that, I think, let's have a break. I'm slightly confused what you're saying. It's a Lie bracket from G tends to D. I am. Oh, sorry, the, like, I mean, the, the action. action, yeah. Maybe uh, another question, somewhat provocative. So, that, that was the, the whole story about free groups. If the groups are not free, then, 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 then what? It, it is more or less similar, or it does not exist, or how? Replace everything where I just wrote home by R home and resolves the uh, things properly. And instead of taking representations, you should probably also take a better version of that. Mm -hmm. And then most of the things will exist, and most of the things are known, and some stuff is apparently not known in that language. <laughs> I don't know whether it's written up like all these things about about chat bundles and the things that I'll do after the break. Mm -hmm. But uh, by using free groups, you you like saving us or it, it's those, those things which are not worked out. They're not worked out for in the non-free situation. So I mean, like uh, now you 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 were using free groups for. To simplify our life, or that's because simplify my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. So uh, I suggest maybe what uh, ten minutes break.